Rocky the footballer was, was fantastic. Um, he was a guy that could just produce something out of nothing. Uh, and I've seen it so many times. And, and as a guy, he was a gentleman. He was a really nice guy. Friendly, you know, always smiling and always had time for anybody. I think you could tell a lot about what he was like as a person by the way he played the game. Um, you know, wholehearted, honest, um, lend a hand to somebody in trouble uh, on the pitch and off it. I, I could sit here and talk all day about David, you know, I don't think I've got time to do that, but I don't know, simply I just love the guy. He played for the same team as me and obviously he done, he done, he done a lot of things that I didn't do yet for, for the team and that's the thing I will, I will respect forever. He wanted to win, not only in his football, but I think later in his life he, he really wanted to get conquer this, this, this cancer and he gave it his best shot and unfortunately it wasn't to be. He left such great memories here that uh, everybody has been devastated this year. We, we had a terrible season in that aspect. We lost uh, Jordi Armstrong going out here in training and died. We lost Nicolo Galli. 18 year old boy, we had a hope, a great future. And uh, then David Rocastle, 34 years old. It's unbelievable what happened this year. It just looks all young people who die so early. And uh, you cannot do anything about it. Just a, a dear friend and, uh, and uh, a talented footballer. and. Uh, I'm not going to say too much because I'll, I'll end up crying again and uh, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a big hole.